welcome along to day four of Christmas Inky Art School, the penultimate day, might I add. Today, we will be drawing this super cute little um, stocking with some gifts in it. So all you will need is some paper, just my usual bog standard white copy paper. I have a clicky pencil, you can use any kind of pencil, my pigment liner and my eraser. Uh, let's not hang about folks, let's just get drawn. Okay, so let's get started with our little stocking. Now, first things first, I am going to draw the stocking before the gifts. I begin with a slightly diagonal line like that. That is going to be the top of our stocking. Now, two straight lines, either edge and along like that. That is like the, um, the cuff of the stocking. I don't know what you call it, the top bit. Um the neck of the stocking? I've never really thought about that. I have no idea what stocking terminology this would be. Anyway, the, um, the bit at the top. Now, two straight lines down like this, and then here is the, the toe bit, the boot. So I like to draw mine quite baggy and wide, not one of those sort of skinny, long knitted stockings, more of a, I don't know, I just, I just don't have the vocabulary to speak about stockings enough, it would seem. <laughs> there we go, though. That is the basic shape of our stocking. Now, I like to add a semicircle here of sorts for the heel and a bit of patterning going along here like this. Up, 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 up. Each of these little bands can have a different pattern on it. So for example, let's do some little frilly scallops here. Let's do some zigzags in this bit. Uh, I'll do a stripey line in here. We can have some, hmm, some of these, I don't even know what these are, like cross hatching things. It's what I usually do for a basket. Uh, some circles here. Uh, another frilly scallop line and maybe some more zigzags. There we go. That is our basic stocking. Um, I would also, top tip, sort of make this bit slightly higher at the top because that gives the idea of that's where it's pinned. Do you know what I mean? Like that's sort of taking the, taking the strain almost there. Right, that's that. Now let's draw some gifts poking out of it. You can get adventurous and start having like half teddy bears and dollies poking out. The easiest thing to do, and let's start off easy and build ourselves up, is wrapped gifts boxes. So one here, maybe. Um, I like to have them different, slightly different shapes and sizes and at jaunty angles. And so. And then we'll have one candy cane. Actually, I'm not gonna do it there because I'll have a bow there. Let me do the bows first and then we can, then we can add in where we've got gaps for candy canes. So let's do a bow on the parcel here. So start off with a bit of a square situation and then the sort of bowy bit on this side and that side the ribbon. This one we are going to do like a fluffy pom-pom kind of thing and a skinny ribbon and let's have it going a lot way as well and up here we are going to do hmm let's do let's do mega bow. I hope I'm in frame hold on yeah fine <laughs> Mega bow consists of big, biggish knot, and then I do a sort of fluffy teardrop out of each bottom end of the square, a line up here, and then join them together. Then you need your tails as so. And then just your ribbon coming down. So as you can see, that is quite busy. I would like to pop a candy cane in there. 
let's do it coming out here. Or maybe would it be better out here? Hmm. I think maybe out here. Hmm. Yeah. So you kind of draw that hook, come round, make it wide, and then add your a uh, detailing. I don't know if that should go there. Ah, we'll go with it. Maybe it just needs something here. A little bonus gift. No, I'll just leave it. Lollipop. No, I'm just faffing. Leave it. Right. <laughs> right, after that moment of indecision, um, now I'm going to ink it. So we have our presents. Do I really just don't like that candy cane? <gasps> Let's take that out. That's the joy of doing it in pencil first. You can plan things like that. Would it be better there? I think it would, you know. I'm going to pop it in here. To see if I've drawn all that in ink, you're committed. You can't make any changes. I prefer that. I think it looks like it's just been snuck into the parcels. You might disagree, but I can sleep easy at night. Oh, no, I can't. What will we do about this candy cane? Maybe up here? Maybe it's the size of it. It's the size of it that's the problem. I'm gonna make it bigger. There we go. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> oh. Fabulous. Now I am happy. Grab your 0 0.2 fine liner and let's get inking. I'm going to start up here with this bow. There we go, that is our stocking. Now it looks a bit smudgy just now, that's just a lot of the graphite. I'm gonna add some little stars around here. Now I've drawn quite a lot of these, so I'm confident enough just to freestyle them. Freestyle them, is that the word? Just draw them freehand. If you are not, don't worry. Just get your pencil back out, sketch them until you're happy. But as I say, I've drawn quite a lot of stars like this now. Also, I've <laughs> got quite low standards. Don't really mind if they're um, a bit skew if and squint. So that really helps me. I don't think there are people that are perfect at things. I just think everyone has different expectations. And uh, I've learned to lower mine somewhat. So there we go. Fully inked. I'm going to wait a little second and then erase this. I think this one's going to look really different once the pencil has been erased because it is so smudgy because of me moving that candy cane. But boy, am I glad I did. Isn't it funny how it just didn't look right because the candy cane was too small? Just goes to show, it's why you should always sketch it in pencil first. Is this all dry? Right, let's do this. Gently lift off the pencil to reveal our crisp black and white drawing beneath. This is a corker to colour. You will have so much fun. You can do different patterns on the wrapping paper, all the different colours in the stocking. Also, a brilliant one, if you're gonna draw it, draw it bigger, grab a Sharpie and ink it, and then give it your kids as a Christmas Eve colouring sheet. Or draw the stocking and the gifts. Leave this bit unpatterned, give them a sharpie and let them do all the patterns and then colour it. So it's a bit of a collaboration. There we go. Let me just check I'm still in frame. Fantastic. One little stocking full of gifts. 
So there you go, folks. That's actually how it happens. Now, I did wonder about editing that video and trying to reserve, reserve, preserve a small amount of dignity and the um, illusion of professionalism in what I do. But that's the true fact. Sometimes it just takes a while to figure things out and it looks a bit rubbish and it's a bit indecisive. That's why it takes me so long to make a book because sometimes a petal doesn't quite look right or a butterfly doesn't quite look right and I have that internal dilemma and conversation going on until we fix it. So I thought it was quite good to show you that it doesn't just all flow and miraculously happen, it does take a bit of tweaking. So when you are drawing, if things don't quite look right the first time and you're having to move things around, don't get frustrated. It is totally natural, totally normal. We all do it. And I'm glad I didn't edit that out. And I'm glad that that candy cane fiasco has made it <laughs> into the world wide web. On that note, please share your creations with me online. Tag me in your pictures when you upload them or upload them to the coloring gallery eh, on my website. Eh, I'll see you back here tomorrow. We will be drawing. Oh, it's the last day tomorrow. It's the last day. Get your pens and pencils ready. We will be making place name settings. I think that is what they're called. Like a little card with your name on it that you can put um, at your place at the Christmas table. What are they called? Name place? Place names. It'll come to me. I'll see you back here tomorrow for that. In the meantime, take care, be kind and have fun. Bye-bye.